hate the fitted sheet, buddy. Severus. Seriously, Severus? Wait, this is not the fitted sheet. That's the fitted sheet. Hold on. I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting to make the bed right now. I thought I did that when I left this morning. I did not because I am just failing at life as an adult right now. And yes, I understand that I am exaggerating, that I'm not failing at life right now as an adult, but I really feel like I am because I just had a really bad day and I very much am so frustrated. I can't even tell you the level of frustration that I have right now because I can guarantee almost that none of you guys had as weird of a fucking day as I did and I sometimes can't process my day and I'm supposed to just get up tomorrow and go do this all day event with my friends and it's gonna be supposedly fun but I can't even think about that right now because I don't want to go because I'm just in such a bad mood and I'm not even a bad mood I'm just so Ugh, I can't even describe it. And now I'm having to make the bed and there's a cat in my fucking way. <laughs> Loki, no, don't eat that. That's my costume for tomorrow, you fucking asshole. No, 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 no. Don't eat that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you two. Could you give me two seconds without causing problems? I'm sorry. It's been a long ass day. And I was not planning on making my bed right now, but I forgot that I didn't do it this morning because I ran out of time. And I just oh, really need to make my bed. So that's what I'm doing. And it better smell good because I used fabric softener and I hope I don't end up having an allergic reaction because I'm allergic to fabric softener. But I really just wanted my bed to smell like home because I needed nothing more than a fucking mom hug for the past, I can't even tell you how long. <laughs> because I am so tired, I'm just everything, just life in general, I'm just tired, so fucking tired. Today, I spent the second half of my shift at work cleaning dead and live cockroaches out of books and DVDs. Process that for a minute. Think about that. Dead and live cockroaches. <laughs> the second half of my shift. We don't sell DVDs, we're a library. People check them out. Because not everybody has access to streaming services. Which is fine. But somebody returned a bunch of library materials filled with cockroaches. I let them sit in bags for two weeks and they still came out alive. So I was still killing cockroaches today, two weeks after the initial cockroach incident. So that was so much that was going on there. It was ugh, disgusting. How does that happen? When somebody has cockroaches in their house and they check out materials for the library and then the cockroaches infest those materials and they bring them back in, that is how that happens. So that person, those people that brought them in, are living in their house with a shit ton of cockroaches. 
so many cockroaches, I might add, that I have killed 13 and found at least 20 dead ones. And I, yes, I do have to keep track. It's not just me being annoying. I have to actually keep track of how many cockroaches I have found. And also they have been found in other places that are no longer in the materials because they have escaped the materials and have decided that they just live here now because that's what they do. That is what they do. Oh, don't worry. I have stripped every single time I come home from work, stripped and taken a shower to make sure that I am not bringing home cockroaches, which is something that I never thought I would have to say out loud. Because, yeah, at least it's not bed bugs or like fleas, I guess. I don't know. So, yep. That was great. That felt so good. I'm so sorry. I got my pillows here. Where'd my other pillow go? So anyways, yeah, that's, that's, that's not even the worst part about my shift, but that was, that happened. So. That felt so damn good. Um, yeah. The worst part? Uh, oh, the worst part was actually that, um, no, the roaches weren't the worst part. The worst part was that I decided to have a conversation with somebody that I was seeing to basically say, hi, I don't like it that you're not, you've ignored me for six days. Um, kind of has given me the you're not interested thing and you said you weren't going to do that. So just, it's making me a little, little uncomfortable. And instead of fixing that, they were just like, bye bye Which is fine, but you could have handled it better. Like an adult because that's what we're supposed to be, is mature about this stuff. So that happened. And then, you know, I had a bunch of shit I had to do and then I had to clean cockroaches out of books. Stop it, Loki, no. I told you no four times, stop it. And then on top of that, um, a lot of other things, so. <sighs> anyway, it was a long ass day. And to come home and then one realized that I didn't cook dinner this morning. So I didn't, I got home at seven and had to cook dinner, which was still in the freezer. Um, and <sighs> yeah, it's just been a long, long day. So, hi. Yeah. I'm 